All right, tubers, Matt M. Roy back once again. I want to go ahead and start this a little bit early because I don't know how many of you are going to be able to show up. So this is officially starting at noon, this live stream, but I think it's like 11.55 now, so we'll see what happens. As the uh, title suggests, I did it again, tubers. I went and got a huge computer haul. Now, I will tell you a little bit about this before um, we delve into what I actually got. Um, basically, all this came from a warehouse. I'm not exactly sure how this person acquired it, but it was down in, in the Norfolk area. Um, this was the very last day they're going to be doing this sale, which is kind of odd. I guess the gentleman who was doing this had listed items um, over a period of time, and these were the items that he quote-unquote thought were not really worthy of him, many, much attention from him. As a matter of fact, the majority of these items I found were in a big uh, box on a pallet getting ready to go to the dump. And... I still can't believe what this person was getting ready to throw away. It's unbelievable. Um, that being said, um, I have not tested any of this stuff other than a few of the um, monitors. That's all I'm going to say right now. Um, but from what I understand, the gentleman said this came from a business where they were all working. Most of these systems and other things are complete. In other words, they're not really missing anything. Um, we're going to give the guys a couple more minutes to come. We can uh, chat a little bit, if you will. I see a few people are asking me or saying hello. Hired Gun said, good morning. Noah Draft said, how are you doing? Um, morning, almost noon here, and I am doing very well. I'm actually still coming down from the high. I cannot wait till you guys see this haul. God really showed his grace on me today because I've been wanting to get another haul like this for a while. And I still cannot believe that it happened. Um, give you a little background. I actually found out about this um, on Friday. I was perusing an ad on Craigslist. And believe it or not, even though this is all computer-related stuff, it was miscategorized. It was actually put in the electronics section. So that's what you guys have to do. If you guys are looking at Craigslist or Kijiji in Canada, and there are a few other ones. Um, there's one in England. I can't remember the name of it. But... Always look for the other categories. A lot of times people will miscategorize computer items and they'll put them in the electronics section. And that's indeed what happened here. I was only the second person to come and actually see these. Um, from what I understand, the first person only bought a couple of items. So I scored and I scored big. Um, I see we got some more people here. God is good. Absolutely. Noah Draft. And I give him the glory for when I find stuff like this because... At the end of the day, without him, I wouldn't be as successful at this as I am. And that's all I'm going to say on that topic. I don't want to bring, I don't want to get into a whole religious thing here. Um, but go ahead and ask me a few more questions. We're going to give it a couple more minutes. We got 10 watchers here. That's great. Hopefully, we get a few more people to come, and then I'm going to go ahead and delve into uh, into the goodies, the meat and potatoes of why you guys and gals are here today. Weather-wise, it is really hot. Matter of fact, I am actually starting to build up a sweat. So what I am going to do, see if I can go grab my uh, sweat rag here. One thing that you need in Virginia, especially during the summer, is a good sweat rag. And I get these from the dollar store. Really cheap. These things are just real cheap cotton, but they're good for wiping your head, especially when you're very hot. Charlie Lipinski says, hello, Matt. Sam Hodgson. It is crazy what people throw away. During my school holidays, I am running a computer recycling business. It is, uh, it is amazing what people throw away. Most of the time, the computers work fine. That's what I've noticed, too. A lot of times, people... It's not either one of two things. I mean, either they don't know what they have and or they don't care what they have. In other words, it's something they're not going to be using. You know, they don't want to go through the process of refurbishing it or, you know, trying to find a buyer. So they're just ready, ready to throw it away or pretty much give it away for nothing. Got 11 watchers and three likes. Awesome. All right. Um, you guys don't have to give me the likes yet. I know you guys probably don't know if you're going to like this video yet or not. Um, other than that, let's see if we have any other questions there. Go ahead and get your uh, questions and comments in right now because once I delve into this, I may not be able to um, actually answer them right away. 
Oh, we got somebody from Sweden. Awesome. Let me see. Torbjorn Carlson. I'm actually decent because I am Nor. I'm. I have. I have some Norwegian in me, so I kind of know how to pronounce them. I don't know if I got that exactly right, but I hope I got it somewhere close. Charlie Lipinski says he is on break of the Salvation Army. That's awesome. Got 11 watchers and three likes. That's that's really good. And I realize this is not going to catch everybody. This is kind of like in the middle of the work day for most people. So I'm doing this live just because, again, it's easier. And you guys that are missing it now will get to see it once I re-upload it. All right, tubers. I have kept you guys waiting long enough. Drum roll. Da -da 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 all right here we go we'll go ahead and start over here to the left these are all the desktops that i got um the first one here is a lenovo idea center with a core i5 running windows 7. interesting i never knew that they had one of those slim hard drive bays for those got a expansion bay here which is empty and then a dvd burner on top um, this is interesting. I, I'm assuming that's the power switch, maybe? I'm not sure. No, that's the power switch. I don't know what that is. But this is a really nice system. Core i5. You can see on the back here, we do have some extra USB 3.0 ports. Normal array of ports. It does have HDMI and VGA. So that is the first desktop there. These two are identical, I believe. These are both Beats Audio HPs, both rocking Core i5, some type of Core i5s. I don't know which. I'm guessing by the looks, maybe a second or a third generation. Both have USB 3.0 on the front. Got DVD burners up here. Anything, well, I'm assuming that's there. I can feel it. Anything in the expansion bays? I can never get these open. Uh, no, these are not populated. Ecknacker, wish it was an ultimate super hyper extreme computer haul. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, you never know. It might be coming in the future. Um, what does this say up here? Bad hard drive. I know a few of these desktops are going to need work, but I don't mind replacing a hard drive. You guys know that. Um, these have dual DVI ports in them. Uh, some type of built-in graphics there. Um, let's see what else we got. This one is the same. Now this, this is missing that little piece here, but I believe that's inside. I heard it rattling around, so I think that'll be fine. Uh, move that over. We'll get to that in a minute. I have two Va Del Vostros here. These are from 2012. And these are rocking also Core i5s. Again, being from 2012, probably second gen Core i5s, maybe third gens if I'm lucky. To try and hide those product keys. These have um, wireless cards in them, probably wireless G, but that could be N's. Um, right there we have your audio ports. You got VGA and HDMI, and then your various USB ports. These do not appear to have um, 3.0. These are 2.0 ports, and these are Vostro 260s. So, yeah, I mean, these are both identical systems. So these two are the same. These two are the same. And then here we have some type of Asus running an AMD Vision CPU. I'm going to go ahead and move these keyboards out of the way so we can kind of get in here. I also picked up a thing of white shipping labels for a buck. Couldn't, couldn't pass that up. And this one has, for those of you interested, another DVD burner. Nothing, nothing down there. And let's look back here. This one is kind of interesting. This not only has a PS2 port. Actually, this is a multi-port. You can put an adapter on there to hook a keyboard and a mouse. This has the trifecta. HDMI, DVI, VGA, and this also has um, optical audio. So this is a real nice system. Um, don't exactly know what it is, to be honest with you, other than it is some type of AMD. Let's go ahead and see if we got any questions here. Sam Hodgson goes, those Dell Vostro systems are great. I'll take your word for that. I've never actually had this particular model. Most of the times when I get the Vostros, they're the older 200s or 240s, which had the Core 2 systems in it. But, I mean, for what I paid for these, I'm not going to tell you a lot of what I paid, but I will let you know that I got the desktops on average 
I paid about twenty twenty five dollars a piece for those. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, considering they are all complete. Everyone has the hard drive and the memory in them. Whether or not they work, I'm not sure. I didn't even bother plugging them up. I, I just, to be honest with you, I wanted to get out there before the guy changed his mind. All right, so we'll go ahead and put these keyboards back. This is the next thing I want to show you guys. I picked this up for, I think I gave the guy $10 for this. He did not know if this worked. Um, this, as you've probably guessed, is a Dell. It's Dell branded, of course. This is a projector. Um, we'll go ahead and open this up real quick. And it does have the remote, which I thought was cool. The power cord's in the front. Ugh, that's really sticky. It must have been in the heat. Look, you can see the junk coming off of it. Well, we're not going to... I'm not going to touch that again for now. Ugh. Put that back in there for now. But... I can't get that in. There we go. And then, as you can see, the projector itself is very hard to get out one-handed. Let me put the phone down for a second. Oh, oh, where did I go? Oh, I'm back. There we go. Um, this is a DLP projector. Oh, interesting. Texas Instrument Technology. I think they actually invented DLP, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is a Dell 2400 MP. I'm assuming MP probably means media projector. You can see there you got VGA in, VGA out, um, S video, video in, then the audio in and out, the. I'm not sure what that is. That might be like a uh, proprietary port, then a USB port for like a plug-in remote, and then just your power port. So this is not a high-definition projector by any means, but for the $10 that I paid for it, I figured that was really a good deal. And you can see it even has that little plastic piece still on there. So this thing is really in like brand new condition. I really can't wait to bring that inside and um, see if that actually works. I gotta shut this because I am gonna bring some stuff over here for you guys to see. Oh, and then there are all the monitors back there. I won't spend too much time on the monitors. You can pretty much see right there, most of them are either Acer or BenQ. 22 inch, 20 inch, and then the other ones back there are like 24s and 23 inch monitors. Let me see what else we got here. I wonder if, this is a hard gun, I wonder if the switch on top of the one was an ejector for the hot swappable hard drive caddy. You may be right. Let me take a closer look at that. I am not sure, because the caddy itself is down there. You, you know what? You might be right, because uh, being that that's loose is probably because there's nothing in there. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. All right, tubers, let's go over to this side. And I will show you that mom did purchase a uh, paper shredder here. There's a Fellows brand, really heavy. I can't get this out one-handed. But the monitors here, again, most of them are like Acer or BenQs. They kind of toppled over, so I really... See, I was trying to avoid that. I think I had some monitor damage. Let me go over to this side. Hopefully that's just a... Um, hopefully that's just some dirt on there. And I didn't scratch the you-know-what. Oh, yeah, that's coming off just fine. That one's an older Acer. They got some other Acers there. This one's an AOC, but they're nice and large. Actually, this one I think is the biggest of the lot. This is a AOC Full HD. I'm guessing that's about a 24-inch monitor. <laughs> there are the BenQs there. Its cousin is right over there. So you guys know a lot about monitors. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on those. Go ahead and turn you around to me for a second. See if anybody, if you guys have any questions or comments about those computers, go ahead and uh, leave them for me. Sam Hodge and I have a Dell Vostro 230 with a quad core Xeon, a modded LGA 771 CPU. That's very unique, and they are still very good systems even to this day. You can do a lot of uh, tasks even with an older uh, system like that. That's an awesome score for sure. What else do we have here? Anybody else got any uh, comments? If not, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the last few items that I have. I hope you guys are really enjoying this. This is something new that I'm trying. I figured I'd let you guys see this stuff live because, be honest with you, by the time I get it inside, I'll probably be so tired I won't even want to have to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. Ooh, I'm out of focus again. 
and check check out some of these laptops that I got. I'm going to turn it around here and uh, let you guys see this. All right, so the first one here is <clears throat> in HP. Most of these are, I think, Dells, by the way. This is some type of HP with a AMD Vision and a Windows 7 key. Believe it or not, this is probably the least expensive laptop. Most of these are actually um, business-grade systems. But that's cool. It's in good shape. It's got a little wear on the keyboard, but nothing I can't uh, fix. Next, we got an older Gateway, which I assume is older because Gateway, man, they went out of business like six, seven years ago. Let's see what this one actually is. This is very hard to do one-handed. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This one is a Core i3. Wow. Okay, third gen. Core i3 third gen. 500 gig hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM. And this one got a Blu-ray drive in it. That's going to be awesome. That one might actually be a keeper if that works. And from what the guy was telling me, all these laptops did work when they were taken out of service. So that is really cool. Got a Toshiba here. Now, I'm not sure if I actually got all of the power cords or not. I'll have to double check that later. I picked up pretty much everything I could find. This one is a Toshiba. Oh, you guys can see me in there. Hey, everybody. Uh, it says training laptop. This is with a um, Pentium processor inside. That is really cool. Okay. I'm not going to show you guys the key. Actually, there isn't one because this is a Windows 8 laptop. Some of these say, like this one says, clean and wipe needs to be recycled. See, the, the thing that happened was mom wound up taking a lot of these um, laptops in to the car. And I didn't even get to see them. She counted them and the guy wanted um, 10 bucks a piece for them. And I said, I'll pay you that. So I'm not even sure what some of these were. Like I didn't see this one. What is this one? This has got an AMD Vision. This is an Athlon 2 M30. So this is an older one here. Um, 500 gig hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM. Still a decent laptop. Heck, I would normally pay 10 bucks, maybe 20 for that. And I'm going to try to move some of this over. I know this isn't the ideal way to do it, guys, but I am really, really slow on room here. This is one of those weird um, matte finish Dells, if you've ever seen that before. Listen. These are the rugged ones. These are the ones you're supposed to be able to take, like, out in the uh, on safari and out in the um, outback in Australia, and they'll survive. I remember when they sold these. Sorry, guys. I need to do that to open it up. All right, this is a Core i3. Wow, I knew a lot of these were the Core i series, but I wasn't sure exactly which ones. This is a 17-inch laptop. Awesome. I'm going to try to power them on. I don't think any of these have any battery power at the moment. Still, still a very, very cool-looking laptop there. Next, oh, wow, see, I, I never saw some of these. It, again, I should, I should have actually looked at these when I took them out. Oh, wow. Guys, I think this is, this is a pro book. Oh my gosh, this is a pro book 4540. This is just like the one that I think YouTube user Eric Brunhammer has. Core i5, uh, Radeon graphics in this one. This one I want to take a closer look at. This one, the screen looks good. I don't see any um, scratches or breaks in the screen. One thing you can tell on a laptop that's had a lot of use the keyboard will show signs of wear. This one looks very, very good. Unless the keyboard was replaced, I would say this laptop has seen very little wear. I don't see any um, paint chipping or any kind of marks around the trackpad or the uh, touch buttons either. So, yes, I would say this particular laptop has seen very little use. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ports on this one. This one really interests me. Matter of fact, this is going to come in with me. Got two USB, looks like 2.0 ports on the right side. On the left side here, we have two. Okay, these are super speed USB 3.0 ports. Got an HDMI port. Um, this is Ethernet, VGA, and then back there is your lowly power adapter connector. Matter of fact, this one I am going to stick right on top of the truck here. I want to bring that one inside when we're done for sure. That's the first one I'm going to look at. And then I got a bunch of these Dells. These are like, I think the 40-something hundred series. 
this one has got a corrupted file, it says. Um, I don't know what that is right there. But anyway, let's we'll put that to the side. Core i3, Windows 7. Um, I believe all these have been wiped. I am not 100% sure. Let's see what model this is. Does not say what model. I think these are like the 4600 series, if I'm not mistaken. Where does it show what model it is? I know someone out there can tell me. One of you guys tell me what the world model of that computer is. Because I got a bunch of them. I got a few of them under there, too. Uh, let's see. Any questions? Have a ProBook 4670B. Yeah, I heard they are really, really good laptops. I have to check that one out a little bit later. Alex Smith, the integrated graphics in the Vostro 230 will only install a Microsoft w a WDDM driver, basic driver, so you might want to install dedicated graphics cards. That is a good point, and I do actually have a dedicated graphics card that should go in there just fine. It's like a ATI Radeon HD 7000 series card. 4640. Thank you, Charlie. I knew one of you guys would know what that is. Your high school used them. Yeah, and unfortunately, I think all, all of these are dead, though. I think I just heard something come up with that one. No. No, they're stone dead. Uh, from what I understand, these haven't actually been used for a while. Next here uh, is... Let's see what this is here. This is an Asus. Um, I believe this is an i5. This is an i3. This is a Asus Core i3. Um, let me see if I can get any of these to power up. Yeah, these are all stone dead. Some of these have personal information, which I'm trying to hide there. If you guys see anything you shouldn't there, please just don't, don't say anything. <laughs> but again, in really good shape. Minimal wear on the keyboard. Not bad. I'll take an i3. i3 laptops do sell very well. And like I said, I got most of the chargers are in that box right there. I got a few sitting on the corner there. And let's see if I can get over here. This is the last few that I have. This one I will not be able to open because it's taped shut. It is some type of Toshiba. Oh, I can tell you what it is right there. It is a Toshiba model L855S5383, which I do believe this is either another Core i3 or i5. And then I have two more down here. Let me see if I can get to them. Mom's got her shoes sitting there. Sorry, you saw my thumb there for a second. Ha, 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 right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these back, this one back here so we can take a better look at it. Go ahead and stick that back up there. Yep, this is another Core i3. Ooh, had a bug crawling on there. This is a Dell Latitude, similar to the other one. I don't. It's not exactly the same model. We'll try it. Uh, again, stone dead. Good shape. Keyboard's in good shape. Other than being dusty, there's no like real wear on the keys or anything there. This one, okay, I remember why. This one I got for free because you can see it's been damaged up here. He thinks that when they were putting them on the forklift, somebody got that. This one, if it does work, I will probably keep for personal use because I do, it doesn't appear to have affected the screen. The screen still looks like it's, um, it's intact. So probably what I will do is either keep this for personal use or keep this one just for parts. But I did not pay anything for that. He gave that one to me um, for free because of that. Now I'm going to go grab my sweat rag because I am really, really sweating up a storm. Um, that is about it, tubers. I hope you guys really are enjoying this. I, again, I've never thought about doing it this way. But it's a lot easier than having to edit this up later on. And you guys get to see firsthand um, the type of computers that I'm actually able to get in now. I'm just looking at it. It's such a shame that that was broken. But you know what? If it still works, I'll keep it and just use it for my personal use. All right, tubers, start giving me some likes. I know some of you out there got to be liking this video by now. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me, please. Alex Smith, yes, the Vostro 230s will accept two 4-gig sticks of low-density uh, double-sided DIMMs. That's a very good point. You always want to make sure your system is capable of either low-density or high-density RAM. Um, the low-density RAM is the more expensive RAM, and most of the um, 
business class systems require you to use low density RAM. If you try to put a high density stick in something like a Vostro or even something like maybe even in a professional ASUS system, it won't work. Or if it does work, you will get a lot of memory errors instantly. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. No more questions. All right, tubers, I think I'm going to go and end this live stream here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know if you like this because I will start doing more of these types of videos. I know you guys out there love the tech related videos and you guys love my live stream. So I figured doing these um, all at once would, was probably a good idea. I figure you guys might want to see my face now at this point, now that we're done. And yes, I have been sweating up a storm. Again, this is your favorite tool on a hot day when you're doing hard work like this. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.